Disney and Lucasfilm did almost everything in their power to try to save the Acolyte from a massive marketing campaign to preemptive strikes, attacks on the fans before the show even came out, essentially saying that any and all criticism is just going to boil down to racism and bigotry. They had their mainstream media types shill as hard as they could, try to gaslight a fan base that, no, we promise, this is actually good. If you don't like it, you're just an ist, you're just a phobe. Unfortunately for Star Wars fans and for Disney and Lucasfilm, they avoided doing the one thing that actually could have prevented this, and that's make a good product. But instead of doing that, and instead of taking ownership for this disaster, they continue to lie and spin. From telling everybody that's a rating success, to ultimately, when it comes out, when we get the actual ratings, we realize, oh shit, this is bad. Essentially the biggest flop in the history of Disney Star Wars on Disney+, Plus, despite the media desperately lying about it. And now the star, Amanda Stenberg, just weeks after her attack on fans, you guys remember, the distrust track she put out there shitting all over star wars fans for not liking her garbage well she's back again and she's trying to do damage control unfortunately it's too little too late and people can see right through it the acolyte lead amanda stenberg claims to welcome criticism of the show is that true it, you literally you literally made a diss track against Star Wars fans that don't like your show. So 86% of Star Wars fans. And you can try to get out of it by saying, well, I was, you know, I was just responding to all those people, those nasty people that said mean things, despite the fact that I provided no receipts, no evidence of any of these things that were said to me. But everybody can see this for what it actually is. Suggest large chunk of negative coverage is, quote, clickbait journalism. Really, if you want to talk about dishonesty when it comes to journalism, I would say you should look no further than the access media who's been doing this from the beginning and the same people that are going to be doing it in the clip that we watch, by the way. Exclusive data suggests the Acolyte is a Star Wars success story despite the backlash. And that's where Screen Rant got everybody else in the Access media to repeat the same thing, that this is actually the second biggest hit for Star Wars. Even though this little graph that they showed to prove their point, it's the second biggest hit behind the Kenobi series. This isn't about ratings. This isn't about people actually watching. They're factoring in people that are talking about it, whether it's positive or negative. And as we learned, that doesn't translate to actual viewers for the show. This chart is bullshit. It always was bullshit, but they didn't want to tell you that. They wanted to gaslight you. Then we got the real Nielsen data, the industry standard, and it showed that no, in fact, it's a massive pathetic failure. But anyway, we should get on to this, where Amanda Stenberg goes on the view. You know, the, the people that really know their Star Wars, they're just experts in Star Wars storytelling, she went on The View. And we're going to watch this about three minutes long. I don't know how much we'll get through it, how much we'll stop and pause in between, but we got to listen to this. It feels so current now with the yeah. light and the dark that we're seeing Absolutely. in our country. Yeah. Um, and let me ask you this. Unfortunately, the success of this show has... I, I imagine that the light and the dark we're seeing in this country to all the people on this panel, uh, conservatives are, well, that's just darkness. And, and liberals, they're just, they're just trying to bring everybody to the light. I'm, I'm sure that's what all these people are thinking. Made you a target by some in the right wing for the inclusive casting, which is something Whoopi talks about all the time. All the time. Mm. Um, you have received horrific racist backlash, including threats. And what you call intolerable racism, that is your quote. Can you talk about that a little bit? And, and, and what has that been like? And it would be one thing if we actually saw some, some evidence of this, right? If we actually saw some of this shit she's talking about. But no, this is just gaslighting. I, I will say this. For somebody that has, what, 2 million Instagram followers, I'm sure a big presence on social media wherever, you're going to get some weirdos there. You're going to get some people that are very critical. I have far fewer followers than a man will stand because I have like 10,000 followers on Instagram. I never post there. I've got 70,000 followers on Twitter. Almost never post there. Guess what? I get hate. I get every once in a while some death threats. I get some racism. That is something that does happen when you're a public person. It doesn't mean it's right when that happens, but it also does come with the territory of being famous. Regardless of what you say, there's always somebody that's going to be mad and take it too far. But we have yet to see any of this shit from a man, Lestenberg, this intolerable racism that's, racism that's out there. The truth is they're trying to mask any and all criticism of this show as rooted in that despite the fact that the top five, six, seven things you see listed over the problems with this show, 
have nothing to do with the color of someone's skin, but instead the actual content of this program, whether it's storytelling, whether it's writing, dialogue, character development, how they decided to tell this story acting across the board and all the way down below is like, well, it was really weird that they decided to really talk about how diverse and how they were going to include down identity politics in every aspect of this show. And it didn't help that all of the cast and crew were also repeating the same talking points. They are the ones who made it all about their casting. Amanda Stenberg has said, I, I just think this makes the world safer for black women in the nerd space. Jodie Turner-Smith, yes, finally, more representation in Star Wars. Across the board at Star Wars Celebration, that's what these people talked about. Not Star Wars, instead about diversity and inclusion and representation. That's one of the reasons that was a talking point before the show even came out. Yeah, absolutely. Um... And I really appreciate you giving me the space to speak about it. Um, it's been very painful for me. It's not something that I think you can emotionally prepare for. And we welcome criticism of the show when it comes to sure. storytelling or performance. Um, but when it comes to death... Are, are you sure you do? Are you sure you do? And I will also point out, look at all the other uh, conversations Amanda Stenberg has had, whether it's on you know night talk shows or things like this. She seems incredibly guarded right now, almost like she's fucking lying through her teeth about what's going on. Isn't that strange? This isn't a heavily edited music video that she can do all by herself to put out a, a, a diss track attacking Star Wars fans. A threat, um, horrific, violent, racist language. It's unacceptable to me. And I've had to think really deep and hard about when you display discipline and when you display honor. And I guess what I mean by that is, is when do you decide to utilize discipline to not engage in a reactive way to hatred? Mm. And when do you decide to engage in honor by honoring your values and your belief system? And in this case, I, I decided that that was the most important thing to me, mm -hmm. um, to be vocal, because I think... I just want to make sure, uh, you know, honorable ways and not be reactive and things like that. Would that be to release a diss track that includes you looking like this through the entire thing? Is this honorable to you? Maybe your mom might be proud of you. I doubt your dad would be. That's, that's honorable to you. Got it. Understood. Very honorable way to react to all this. I think that silence can send a message as well, and inaction can be very dangerous. It can be and, very dangerous. Um, and so I, well, I dropped a diss track. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I heard. As one does with accountability. <laughs> I dropped a diss track about it. <laughs> and uh, Oh, there it is! <laughs> <laughs> I um, love that. A diss track where I shat all over white people, where I essentially tried to gaslight everyone into thinking that all the criticism for this show is because I'm black and because I'm a woman. Got it. And it's, um, yeah, it's called Discourse. And it really is about, I mean, of course, what I've been experiencing, but it's, it's also just about the divisiveness of the culture and how difficult it is for all of us now to navigate information in this new era. It's so difficult to tell what is true, yeah. you know, online and these online algorithms, they shape our realities and our thinking mm -hmm. um, and clickbait. I agree with you. When you are, are raised to believe and you're in a fucking echo chamber where you think that any slight against you is because you're a fucking woman or you're half black, you're right. That probably could stem from some misinformation out there. When you view the world through this woke lens where there's oppressors and people who've been historically oppressed and we need to right that wrong, we need equity, we need to tear down this patriarchal system and replace it with something else that represents me. I agree. That is pretty fucking dangerous, isn't it? Uh, you want to talk about we can't tell what's real and what's fake? Guess what? This is what's been happening on your side the entire fucking time with the mainstream media trying to gaslight and lie to everybody, trying to call this show a success. That even in the beginning of this interview, she says, this, the success of your new show, the smash hit show, this has got you a lot of attention. It's all bullshit. It's just bullshit. Journalism and these algorithms also profit from our mm -hmm. rage and our mm -hmm. hatred. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's something we, we, we are aware of, but we don't necessarily 
have enough discourse or infrastructure around because it's so new. Yeah, it's also discipline. Mm. It takes a lot of discipline to you talking about ignoring. The first thing I'm going to remind everyone watching. It takes a lot of discipline to, you know, ignore and not respond. Instead, just release a fucking diss track shitting on Star Wars fans. Oh, yeah. It's a lot of discipline there, isn't there? Is that her character is fictional. <laughs> yeah. Right. So <laughs> the fact that you right. are responding to this fictional character yeah. as though you were having dinner with her and she changed overnight for you. It's so wild. These people, like, obviously, Whoopi Goldberg has not even watched this show. She knows nothing about Star Wars. She has no idea what's going on. She has no idea what criticism. She's just sitting there. She probably has no idea who this fucking is other than they told her, well, she's a new black woman who's really woke that's in a new Star Wars thing and claims that she's been racially victimized. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so always remember that the people who are yelling at you often are bots mm -hmm. and not real. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yes. If, if that, why would you get so offended then? If, if it's just bots, if these aren't real people, then why would you get so upset? That's a, a ridiculous fucking argument to begin with. And two, that is very dismissive of the reality, the reality of these audience scores, the reality of the actual ratings that we have that says this is a complete and total flop. And so many people despise this show. That, that is just a fucking stupid thing to say. And don't know you like you know you and don't know that you can kick your own behind better than anybody else can. Mm. Put them out of your mind. They don't matter. Mm. Don't. Mm, just a lot of people mm, mm, nodding to each other. That's what this show is. What a fucking circle jerk. But yes, here is the, the, the newest damage control. A manless Stenberg on The View just claiming how I have to take the high road. I have to be respectable and honorable. I'm sure th this is such an honorable thing to do. Congratulations to you. What, 24, 25-year-old a manless Stenberg who is just out there has a, the solution to all the world's problems. And it just so happens that all the world's problems happen to involve racism and bigotry and anyone that says something bad about the show that's probably actually where it stems from isn't it this is a joke the acolyte is a fucking disaster and there's nothing that disney can do to stop the backlash what do you guys think about this let me know in the comments section below smash a like button subscribe to the channel ring the bell for notifications share this video out there and i'll talk to you later